guys along because some of you think, oh, the door gaskets, that's not really, you know, big part of the refrigeration deal, and it's boring, and it's silly, and it's brainless work, but it's good money, and sometimes it's a harder job than doing compressors and controls and things, so let's get out there and take a look. Sticky icky. First thing I like to do is uh, let's make sure we got the right gaskets. They're going to come all folded and crooked. I try to straighten them out as best as you can. I straighten them out and then I'll hold them up to the door. Even though I ordered them and I measured them, you want to make sure it's the same gaskets. And it looks like we got it right, so then. I'll try and put them somewhere to get them to flatten out for a little bit. You know, on the floor. And there's tricks if they don't if they don't seat right. Your your most important sides is your is your hinge side and the bottom. Let me get those in good. And you guys that have done this a lot know that if you have issues with them forming to the door or like this one's going to be a bummer. You can already see it's really it's going to have a hard time. The trick is you use your heat gun. You get heat on these things, don't melt them, but enough heat, and they'll form with the heat gun if, if you're having issues when you put them back in. Here's one that's all broken, you can see the time. To get them out of there, you can either just pull them out. These are dart style. You get them started. Sometimes you have to get the channel locks on there. When you pull them out, you want to be careful not to destroy the retaining piece. They're, it's just plastic in there, so you don't want to just you don't want to go in there and gorilla those things. You'll break it, and then you really got problems. So far, so good coming out of there. do is I'll get some rags and some soapy water and clean this all up get that all cleaned up and then it'll also help lubricate getting the new piece the new gaskets in <clears throat> for you guys that don't do refrigeration and want to know about the gaskets a little bit it's actually a magnetic strip inside the gaskets and that magnetic strip is what holds the gasket to the door frame and you can see where the strip is sucks in and makes the seal on your doors. And it goes all the way around the gasket. And now it's basura, so it's in there. Right, everyone's got their different tricks. I was always taught to start by getting your corners in. You get all four corners in and then you could pop the rest of it in. So I just got this corner started. You'll feel it pop in there. Um, of course, I'm going to need two hands. So, get it started over the corners and then we'll get them in and see how. Alright, <clears throat> that's one that's in there. Changed out, and then I noticed from shipping it's got this little. Right here. Oh, yeah, right there. From the, you know, crinkled up in the box. Now we're going to see if that's going to make a problem for us where we need the heat gun or not. And we'll see if the door will seal. We want to make sure the gasket's sealing to the frame all the way around. magnet pull when you open the door see how it goes to it we'll get this other all right 
and then you get them all checked out and you're done. Make sure those spots all cleaned up and that's just some tips on door gaskets. If for some reason you, you had an issue with the door not sitting right or the gaskets not molding right, you just get your heat gun, get some heat on them and they'll form up real easy on there. And, the, and that's like a trick and a heads up. We didn't have to do that on these. These ones came out really good on the Perlix here. All right, like, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Beverage air freezer with iced up coil of Titus. Probably not enough airflow on that bottom shelf. The second thing is, it's got the residential style time clock, and it's not getting enough defrost long enough for as busy as they're in and out of this freezer. And I'm probably going to end up replacing that time clock with a time clock that I can program more, more defrosts in. It'll, it'll be a mechanical time clock. short on airflow inside the box. Yeah, yeah. Defrost circuit's good. 4.4 amps.